A tiny droplet? Or a great mystery? Do you need to be big to be significant? Isn't greatness about making a difference? About knowing what makes life worth living? If greatness matters more than size, then Mark is definitely worth considering. Denmark is the world's oldest monarchy. Today, Denmark has a queen, Greta II. As head of state, Her Majesty the Queen represents the nation abroad and is a symbol of national unity. The Danish royal family take part in events all year round in support of industry, culture and charity. And the Danes consider important events in the life of the royal family to be national celebrations. The royal family is a symbol of unity among all the peoples of the kingdom, including the people of the Faroe Islands and Greenland. The royal family projects majesty, but its members are also popular public figures. To Danes, they're almost part of the family, much like distant relatives. Members of the royal family have, on several occasions, been voted the nation's most popular citizens. And, along with the national flag, the royal family has, over time, proved the most enduring symbol of nationhood and what it means to be Danish. Members of the royal family are important ambassadors for Denmark and help forge international ties worldwide. The monarch represents the nation on state visits. And members of the royal family often take part in promotional activities for Danish industry and lend their royal patronage to a host of different charities. The royal family offers a sense of continuity and represents a royal dynasty that reaches back a thousand years. The queen is a creative person who not only knows how to use a pair of scissors, but also a pen and paintbrush. Denmark's active crown prince makes his mark on international yachting. A new generation of Danish royals is on its way, and a new adventure awaits. Wander through Copenhagen in the early morning and watch the city come to life. Savor the silence before a million citizens and crowds of visitors transform the capital into a dynamic metropolis. A center of business, shopping, and culture of quality living. Stroll across the palace square and wave to the queen. See Christian's Ball, the seat of government, and glimpse members of parliament on their way to work. Be tempted by fashion stores, vintage boutiques and flea markets. Marvel at classic Danish design and international fashion. Walk in the footsteps of Hans Christian Andersen, Søren Kierkegaard, and other great Danes. Explore the city by water, or linger by the harbour side. Do as the Danes do. Enjoy an open sandwich for lunch. Or take a splash in the harbour, right in the heart of the city. If your legs grow tired, borrow a free bicycle. You can go far in just a short time. Copenhagen is a compact city, accessible in its own easy-going fashion. Unwind by Newham Canal, or skyrocket to the heavens of Michelin-rated restaurants. 
experience the thrills of Tivoli Gardens, or walk to the beat of the city's buzzing nightlife. If you lose your heart to Copenhagen, you won't be the first. And probably not the last. Denmark has been an agricultural nation for thousands of years. Today, agricultural production is firmly rooted in the knowledge economy. Crops are grown with the help of GPS systems and livestock is monitored by computer. Information technology has become an integral part of country life. Farmers are highly skilled professionals who learn to balance efficiency with animal welfare. Danish agriculture is a healthy business. The seeds to success were sown more than 120 years ago, when Danish farmers founded dairy and wholesale cooperatives. By joining hands, Danish farmers have made their mark on the global market. They achieved better prices and invested in new technology and development. Danish agriculture could feed the Danish population three times over and consumers at home and abroad demand high quality. The yellow earmark makes it easier for farmers to monitor their cattle and make sure they're healthy and eat well. Animal welfare and food safety are paramount. Every single animal is monitored all the way from the farm to the supermarket. Two-thirds of Danish agricultural produce is consumed abroad and the farmers themselves guarantee high quality. Denmark is a land of no fewer than 443 islands. No matter where you are, you'll never be more than 30 miles from the sea. The country has over 4,500 miles of coastline, or five feet of shoreline for every Dane. The Danes have always made good use of their waterways. They see the sea as an opportunity and a vital natural resource. To some, it's a treasure trove. To others, a place to play. To many Danes, the sea is a workplace and a source of income. Denmark is one of the world's leading seafaring nations. Shipping is the country's second largest export industry. And Danish shipyards build some of the world's most advanced, environmentally friendly vessels. Danish shipping companies operate an efficient and modern merchant fleet that transports 10% of the world's trade. In terms of energy consumption per nautical mile, shipping is far more eco-friendly than road, air or rail transportation. Danish shipyards constantly improve the fuel efficiency of the vessels they build to the benefit of global emissions control and the economic viability of the shipping industry as a whole. Denmark has been a seafaring nation since the Viking Age and to the Danes the sea remains a natural link between peoples, countries and continents. There are more than 6 billion people in the world 5.6 million of them are Danes. Some of them have been Danes all their life. Others have just joined their ranks. There are Danes who unite the nation and represent it in the wider world. And others who capture the imagination by writing books or designing fashion and furniture. 
or striking architecture. Or by creating chart-topping hits, there are Danes whose innovative ideas are lifesavers. And those whose inventions have just made life a little easier. Many are involved in securing the health, safety and taste of Danish foodstuffs by such household brands as Carlsberg, Tulip and Arla. There are those who produce export goods and there are those who facilitate payment for the purchase of the goods and those who make a living by transporting them. The size of the country is negligible. But the Danes speak loud and clear when it comes to CO2 emissions and the environment. To democratic values, equal opportunity and welfare. To education, research and innovation. Here, Denmark helps prove to the world that no country is too small to make a big difference. A little spark. A tiny step. A simple movement. Wake up to the small things in life. You may just discover it's the small things that make the real difference.